Today, I'm going to be talking about my new coffee maker 3000. Now, it might not be the best thing you've seen in the world, but let me tell you, it's the most special and unique thing you've ever seen in the world, all right? So now, we're going to start this machine off with my nice big hockey stick right here. Grade A, $2,000. Don't ask how I got it. I got it, all right? Now, this hockey stick's going to hit this nice big hockey ball through the cardboard box. As it hits it through the cardboard box. Now, you see here? This is the key to this contraption. The ball is going to hit this little wood piece right here. I mean, using the force of acceleration that the uh, hockey stick applied onto the ball, it's going to hit this with a quite a bit of force, right? And that's going to knock down this big box right here. That was that big, what is that big board doing there, huh? Well, this big board is supported by the normal force from the stick, right? So as the stick is knocked out of the way, the only thing acting on is the force of gravity. What's that going to do? It's going to knock that mother down. Now, as that's knocked down, you see this string right here? It's going to have tension on it from the board being knocked down. Moving this wheel, showing rotational motion, am I right? As this wheel is turned, we got a nice strain right here, connected to this wheel, which is also going to turn due to, you know, due to the concepts of tension, right? Now, as that wheel turns, this candy cane, as you see as this wheel's turning, this candy cane comes up like a little gate, you know? Not like water gate, you know, like this gate right here. Now, as that gate's moved, as that gate's moved, this 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 nice big ball here, here, you see this? Yeah, it's gonna roll down. Now that's possible because the force of the force of gravity is gonna be acting on it without anything blocking it. As the force of gravity moves down, the normal force of the ramp is gonna direct it just in the right right direction, right at the tether bar, as you can see right there. Now this can only be possible with uh you know the wrestling patented skis right here, you know, very precisionly engineered to be exactly perfect. At, you know, hitting the tether ball right there. Now, why should you invest in this machine? I'll tell you why you should invest in this machine, all right? You see this tether ball right here? Some might say, how hard is it to hit a yellow tether ball, huh? It's pretty dang hard, all right? Now, as the ball hits this nice big tether ball right here, this big tether ball is in turn gonna use the conservation of momentum to hit this nice big wood stick right here. You see, now, now this wood stick right here, this is the uh, southern point of my machine, is actually blackened. Well, right now it's not on fire, but a flaming tennis ball. Now, as the tether ball uses the conservation of momentum to knock out, the conservation of energy to knock out this nice, nice little ball right here. You see, this ball uses the conservation of energy, using its potential energy it has, Transferring that kinetic energy as it rolls down this ramp, all right? Now, as we take this away, boom, boom, boom. Now, as this ball rolls down, as demonstrated above, you see, this ball's gonna be on fire, so it's gonna be hot, 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 so stand back, all right? Now you got this last little yard string right here. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how can a yard string possibly be effective at holding up a water bottle. Well, magic, my friends. Magic and a little bit of the force of tension. So, as this is uh, held up right here by this nice little yard string, we are, uh, you know, applying some, uh, you know, um, moving that down there so, you know, it's a uh, tension, you know, holds the water bottle up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And now, as the hot, hot fire burns through this yarn, yeah, that's gonna release the water bottle to hit that. Making yourself a nice cup of joe. Delicious.